Hello and welcome to another episode of the Home Shopper Show, Cape Town edition. And this time we are just outside of Cape Town in the Valdivia estate and this is Pearl Valley, one of the most exclusive estates you can get in the Western Cape and it is absolutely stunning. Within this home, which is five bedrooms, six bathrooms, it has so much and this estate does as well. Restaurants, a Jack Nicklaus signature golf course and then uninterrupted views of the Simonsburg Mountains. And this is one of the few homes within this estate that does give you those uninterrupted views. You'll see it throughout this video, they look incredible. But here we are, I'm standing inside. First thing I'm gonna do is close this massive door and let's talk about this home. Beautiful flooring, guys, I can't say enough about it. But here we are within the first sitting area, stunning, plenty of space. This home stretches fully open all the way down to the kitchen and we're gonna talk about all of this. But right here, we've got a wood fireplace to the left, log storage, love how they've done that because it always turns the it turns that function into a feature, massive TV on the wall. Now, the furniture you'll see around the house suits it tremendously. It makes this house seem even more exclusive, even more posh, even more fancy. So, if you like these pieces and you're buying this house, speak to the estate agent. We'll give you all of their details at the end of the video because the furniture is up for grabs. It can be sold as part of the home. So don't think you're gonna be missing out on that. But let me come over here, sliding glass doors, double glaze, opens up onto the outside area. And again, this outside area is wonderful, guys. But even with the cloud cover, these mountains look fantastic. Flooring stretches all the way across, fully open plan living. Love the different lighting arrangements. Down lighting throughout the house, which is done really nicely because it knows, or the owners at least have known during the renovation, what to highlight. And it's fitted into this bulkhead ceiling, which just, mm, I can't say enough about this house, definitely one of the favorites on the series. But here we are within my favorite area of my favorite house, the bar area. I've been looking at some of the stuff here, guys, and I'm very tempted, but I think the owners locked everything. But let's talk about this bar area. Under counter storage, we've got space for your bar fridge, really nice bar fridge as well. And then your sink here, beautiful black faucets. Love how it's been done so classy. Also very minimalistic. The black faucets match these counters, wood counters, brass handles, so nicely done, interior illuminated, and behind me, these doors open wide into your very own private zen garden, one might say. I think it looks quite zen. This whole house does give me quite a Japanese vibe. And in that garden, you'll find a nice water feature that will complement the water feature you'll find outside at the front of the house behind that beautiful door. Now, before we move over there into the informal lounge area, let's take a look at what the rest of this open plan living space has. And we're gonna go straight into the dining room. Walking into the dining room area, there are two things I wanna talk about. And the first is you know how I love light fixtures. And let's throw this in here. And the first light fixture right here, solid concrete hanging down, really cool, matches the rest of the home and it's just so different, I've never seen it before. But the second thing that has been done so well and it's a testament to how well this home has been built is right in front of me, there's this glass feature wall, which when sitting here, because it's glass, it looks like it's framing the front door. But when coming through the front door, you look right across here and it turns this view into a picture. And I love how that's been done. As I mentioned, Simonsburg over there, 180 degree views. And through the north, you've got majestic views of the Fransuk Mountains. But here we are within the kitchen. All of you chefs, guys, I love talking about it. Right now you can see I've been wonderfully illuminated from above me because there is this massive skylight. But maybe you're sitting here and you're hot. You don't wanna sweat while you're whipping up a mean meal. Click of a button, these shades close up and there you are with a little bit of shade, but because they still are transparent, you're still getting that light that you need in the kitchen. Beautiful countertops, the furnishings are wonderful, as well as the appliances, but let me scoot around this side. Fridge, as I mentioned, you can come with you, as well as all the other furnishes. Siemens gas burner with one of these 
Guys, we've seen this before. Let me press that. Does it get any fancier than your extractor fan rising up out of your island to do its job? Then again, a Siemens oven over here, plenty of undercounter storage. And this undercounter storage continues the design element of those brass handles, wood finishing, absolutely beautiful. Those brass handles continue over here. And then we've got a Smeg inbuilt coffee machine as well as a Smeg microwave. Some shelving, some other beautiful feature lights for you to divide and conquer when you're cooking. Another one of those black faucets and then a Blanco double sink which is inside this absolutely stunning veined marble countertop. I like that they've used two different materials because it does go with this whole house right here. This island matching that chandelier. We've got some display cabinets here and then that framing of glass leading out onto your patio area. This opens up outwards. And you move on to your patio and take a look at that patio fire pit right there as well as a wood stove or wood bry area if you like. Then to the right hand side you've got a gas bry area and then a separate sink for you to do your washing up. Just to the left, huge pool, sunny days guys I can only imagine how nice it must be to take a dip in that pool with that mountain view in front of you. And then something I need to mention is this house has direct access onto the golf court but you're not going to walk, guys. Within Pearl Valley, you're not walking anywhere. This home comes included in the price with not one, but two golf carts. So both you and all your friends can play out your golf days, or at least, should I say, the golf days of your dreams. But follow me. We've spoken about the living areas, but not all of them, because there is another one right around that corner that we're going to show you. And here we are coming into the informal lounge, a pocket door right over here, separating this lounge from the rest of the living areas. A really cool design element in this room is this cantilevered bulkhead ceiling with all of this down lighting. The geometry really does give this room its very own unique feel. Another thing that is unique about this room is we've shown you the wood fireplace right here. You've got a double-sided gas fireplace providing some heat and some light not only to this room but also to the room on the other side which we're going to show you in a bit that's a study area two windows in this room floor to ceiling one slides open allowing anybody in this room access to that stunning wood deck and another one providing a lot of natural light just to my left the first bathroom we're going to be showing you and what a beautiful bathroom that is let's take a look now this bathroom is the guest bathroom we've got a floating toilet and then on the right hand side your own basin with some under counter storage something that you should take note of in this bathroom that makes it just beautiful are those tiles on the floor that at least make up the pattern on the floor really nice really different almost handmade feel to them and then the stunning wallpaper on the right hand side you've got a window as well as access to the garden on the left hand side but now that we've covered the bathroom let's take a look at where the other side of that fireplace leads. So coming around the corner, you'll find yourself in what is now currently a study area and it does suit the study area. Full on 180 degree views of the mountain range as well as the golf course, sliding doors letting you out to the front or should I actually say the back of your home. And then no office is suited without your very own bathroom single vanity as well as a walk-in shower so if you're pulling late nights this is exactly where you want to do it super spacious really nice views lots of sunlight and access to your own bathroom and coming on to this plush carpeted area you find yourself in the master suite and what I uh, got you definitely not the master suite we're always leaving the master suite for last but I bet half of you watching could definitely imagine this being a master suite it is massive so big in fact it's thrown me off but we've got the bed right here with the wall separating it from the bathroom area I love the design elements for that I've always really enjoyed it behind me you've got your very own Zen garden with again 180 degree views of the mountain range right now those clouds are obscuring it but even now it looks absolutely stunning if we wrap ourselves this way around the bed take a look at all the cupboard space you've got and all the storage and then right here we find ourselves within the bathroom area two separate vanities those black accents on the taps continuing in that design all across the house your own separate mirrors then right over here you've got your pebble shaped bath with that freestanding faucet and the massive window looking out 
onto your private garden and yes that private garden does indeed have an outdoor shower but talking about showers just behind this piece of glass and let me move back in here you've got your toilet hidden cistern and then the indoor shower with that door opening out onto the garden i love how they've included so many private outdoor spaces throughout the house specifically when you're on a golf course like that it's so important to have a bit of privacy and they've done so well in doing that but we've shown you this room and it's a beautiful room but there are far more five bedrooms six bathrooms one of those bathrooms being a guest bathroom let's go so coming out of that bedroom right over here in the hallway, you've got some built-in linen cupboards. You've also got windows along this hallway letting in so much natural light from your courtyard. But right here, we've got the second bedroom. Let's take a look at what they've got for us. And here we are within the second bedroom we're showing you on the downstairs area. Plenty of space, cupboard space all on my right hand side. And then we've got this really cool barn door that slides across that gives you access to your bathroom which we'll show you in a moment window over there overlooking another garden and the shower area also overlooks another garden love how it's been designed love the down lighting and i very much like the fact that the bulkhead ceilings continue throughout all of the bedrooms let's take a look at their bathroom your bathroom as i'd mentioned has that frosted glass window looking out onto the garden giving quite a nice green outdoor feeling to this bathroom and then those incredible tiles we saw in the guest bathroom continue here but this time in the shade of gray and slate i love the texture of it you've got your single vanity you've got your mirror and then again your floating toilet with hidden cistern now the last bedroom located downstairs before we get to the master suite is again a copy of what we had just seen perfectly symmetrical with that beautiful barn door separating the bathroom for the rest of the bedroom plenty of space lots of light coming in from the windows and then those fantastic tiles located within the bathroom love how it's been decorated And now, now we are going to the creme de la creme. It's time to take a look at what the master suite within Pearl Valley looks like. And here we are within the master suite of this beautiful home. Really, it takes everything up a notch. I've so often said that and right here, we see it once again. Over here, massive space for the bedroom. We've got this wall separating the bed from just behind you, another office area. You've got a desk right over here. Really cool feature, especially if you want to do some work or some reading late at night. And then there's a bookcase slash art display area. Love how it's been done. TV up on the wall and right in front of you, uninterrupted views of the mountain range as well as the golf course. But follow me over here because there's more. The first thing I'd like to mention is the really strategic use of windows to get light in this room. Second, is one of my favorite features I've seen recently, and that is these curtains being hidden, the top of the curtains being hidden within the bulkhead. Right over here, we have our walk-in closet, plenty of space here for all of your clothing needs, and I'm sure some display cabinetry for any of the fancy shoes, a nice chair here to sit down, and then it's time to be in the bathroom. Now, it's not so often you find a home with almost two master suites, but this home accomplishes it. This bathroom, again, decked out to the nines. You've got your double vanities, under counter storage, two separate mirrors, a bathroom off to the side, blocked off from the rest of this bathroom by a door. And within that, that toilet area, you've got your floating toilet with hidden cistern. Then right over here behind me, stunning pebble bathtub again, framed by this gorgeous window. And outside, into that outside area, you've got an outdoor shower. I mean, what home is complete without one? other than my home and probably a lot of our viewers. Over here, beautiful shower. I love again that all the faucets throughout the house carry the same design elements and that is the black coating. And that is all we have for you right now, guys. So let's go back to the front of the home so I can talk just a little bit more about the details around purchasing this home.
And there we have it, folks. I'm outside in the rain, outside of this beautiful home. 16,995,000 rand will buy you a slice of Pearl Valley, one of the most exclusive estates within Val de Vie. Guys, I wouldn't miss out if I was you. So contact the agency that is Val de Vie Properties. All of their details on screen right now. Let them schedule you a viewing because I don't think you want to miss out on this right here. I'm having trouble leaving, but I am going to have to leave you. So for myself, Chad Viveros, the team at Private Property, as well as the team at the Home Shopper Show, we love you. We're in Cape Town for the rest of the week, so don't miss any other episodes airing Monday to Friday. Ah, goodbye.